Hey there guys, Tim here from Canatech TV. Today I'm gonna talk to you about the Moza Go projector package from Elite Projector. So Elite Projector sent this out. Uh, Elite Screens is a company that makes all different kinds of projector screens and I've heard of them being in the projector space before. They reached out and they have this Elite Projector brand now where they actually have a Moza Go projector and it's a pretty cool portable setup. They sent it over for me to look at. So this is a three piece bundle that we're gonna take a look at. And I looked on Amazon right now it seems like there's also an option where it comes with just kind of a portable screen but elite projector they also sent over a fixed frame screen as well and if you go to their website eliteprojector.com you'll see that that three-piece bundle is offered on there as well where you get the projector a portable screen and you get the fixed frame screen so guys i'm going to talk about all three pieces of the package obviously we're going to discuss that projector and then i'm going to show you also both of the screens and kind of how you can use those it's pretty cool because with the two screen bundle what you get is basically a nice portable bundle and you can honestly use that inside as well and just kind of have the frame and stuff the pop-up stand but you can also use that outside so that's great for camping for outdoor movie nights especially now in the fall it'd be great for backyard or like a patio or deck movie so we're going to take a look at that that three screen bundle is great then because you can do all of what I just said, but then it also comes with a fixed frame screen. So when you bring your projector, that Mosaic go back in for the night, you can basically use that in a studio, you can use it in a bedroom, and you have your fixed frame screen that you can just hang up and permanently mount in a space. So it's pretty awesome because then you have both indoor and outdoor setup options with that same projector. So it's a very versatile projector. So let's get into it and start talking about it. So I'll put a link down here below in the description. So definitely check that out so there's going to be a link to purchase these uh, one of those is going to be an affiliate link through amazon so it does help me out if you purchase through there i'm going to put the link for a table which is very helpful it kind of explains what you get in the package and there are two different kinds of these projectors there's a sport model and then kind of a regular version so it kind of does a good job of breaking down exactly what the difference is between the models basically one of the biggest things is that sport model you get type c power delivery and for display and that allows you to charge the devices. It says it can power like a MacBook and stuff because you have that portable battery. And in the eco mode, they say that can last up to three hours. So if you're watching a movie out there and it's under three hours, you can basically be fully wireless with your setup. Now there's also this pretty cool graphic I'll put up here right now, but basically it shows you how far away you can have this projector to get a certain size picture. So it's pretty awesome. It shows for an 80 inch display, you can be just 9.17 inches away. 70 inch display, 6.4 inches away, 58 inch display, 3.82 inches away. So that's pretty awesome because this is an ultra short throw projector, which means you can have that projector right up almost next to the screen or the wall, wherever you have it set up. And it basically saves you a ton of room. Basically for an outdoor movie, it makes your seating a lot easier because you don't have to worry about a projector being 10 feet away. And for an indoor setup, that's definitely a huge, huge deal because when you have an indoor setup like that, you either would have to mount it back on you know, the wall on type of a shelf, but it's basically like lifesaver because you don't have to have the projector so far away from you and then you're not worried about things like people walking in front of it having lines going you know all the way from the back of the room to the front of the room to speakers or anything like that so it's pretty awesome so this projector does have dual 8 watt speakers and it's pretty cool because it does have Bluetooth, so you can actually use it as just a speaker. It kind of functions as three different things there, honestly. You can use it as a power bank, you can use it as a speaker standalone, and then you can use it as the projector. So if you wanted to just use this as a speaker, you can as well. It has Bluetooth, so I hooked up my phone and you can play, you know, I was on Amazon Music and just playing my music through there. So that's pretty neat. As far as using that as like a standalone speaker for your movies, I'd say definitely inside I would use use an external speaker and set up something like that. There's a line in that you can do. So I hooked up an external speaker and it definitely improved the sound quality. For outside movies and that, it, it is very nice just being able to have the speakers right on board. I think that's the big part of this package is the convenience. You get very portable setup and especially with that sport model, you have the power bank option in there so you can charge devices. You have the speaker built in on both models. So that built-in speaker is definitely convenient, but if you're someone who's real picky about the sound, I'd recommend 
mind going to an external speaker. That's something I recommend with basically every projector review I do. And I would still recommend it here if you're picky about your sound and if you really want to boost the audio. So guys, like I said, the convenience and portability is a huge thing with this package. And I actually made a video. I'll have pop up here in the corners and talking about it if you want to go watch it. I just moved into this new house. This is a new studio. If you haven't noticed, my wife and I were moving in. We didn't have internet. We didn't have anything really set up here. We were kind of had a mattress on the floor. So we brought this stuff over, Elite Projector had sent this out. So we uh, went to the Red Box and got a movie, threw on Sonic the Hedgehog up on the wall, and it was very simple to set up. Like I said, I didn't even need a speaker. I had a speaker that I was thinking of, you know, hooking up with it here, and I didn't even have to use that. I literally hooked up a DVD player through HDMI. We had the DVD player going and basically plugged the projector into the wall, even though with this model, it did have the external power bank. It was really easy to set up. It comes with a tripod, and that tripod goes into like the quarter inch thread on the bottom of it. And literally in like 15 minutes, we had it set up on the wall. We had, I forget it, it was at least 120 inches I want to say up on the wall in our bedroom so that's pretty cool and you don't have to use it with a screen if you don't want to I would definitely you know recommend it based on where it is and size and things like that but we just threw it up on the wall and it looks pretty awesome and we had a cool movie experience moving into a place and literally just doing an impromptu movie night and now my wife she's seen me reviewing all these different kinds of projectors and she really, really liked the ultra short throw projector. She thought it was so cool that that just sits up in the front of the room. It basically projects straight up almost and goes right up onto the wall and that we could get that big of a picture without having to you know, set it up. She's used to me having a big clunky tripod in the middle of the living room. And then that's like 10 feet away going to the wall. So it is really neat. It's really cool. And, you know, if you've only had an experience with budget or mid range projectors, then that's something where you're kind of used to that and certain sacrifices you have to make with those models. With this, it just makes the setup a lot less complicated. And if you're someone who doesn't have a lot of experience with projectors, then that's something that I think is very valuable. So guys, I'll show you some of that footage of that portable screen right now. This is the 58 inch diagonal version. So this is the Yardmaster 2. This is the screen that is from Elite Screens that's included in this bundle. So there are other options. I was looking at the Amazon listing again. And it looks like for this Mozigo bundle, at least on Amazon there I saw, they basically have multiple different screen options. So you can kind of look at the model number there. Uh, the number in the model number seems to be basically the size like that. So it looked like there's, you know, 58 inches, 70 inches, and so on. But honestly, that was so great because that came with a little bag for transportation as well and to store it when you're not using it and that was very easy to put together and you basically just button that onto the frame the screen has buttons on it it's very easy to set up so once you have the frame set up and the feet are expanded out then you basically just button on the screen and it's a cine white look so it looks great and gives you good picture quality and it's also very very lightweight it's very easy for just one person to move so it's ultra portable if you, you know you want to break it down obviously that's an option but if you want to just move it from like inside to outside and keep it up like that i moved it from my front patio to inside and it's very easy to do and very lightweight and then like i mentioned there's that fixed frame screen so again that's another elite screen screen and I had the fixed frame screen. They sent me over a hundred inch models, what I tested out, cause that's what worked best for my setup. And honestly, you're gonna see that screen a lot, I think in upcoming videos of mine, I'll probably be using that for testing out other projectors than that. So I'll put that in the description as well there. And you know, going forward, you guys will be able to see that screen a little more as well. I will say that screen did take a little more setup, but lucky for you, that's a fixed frame screen. That's not meant to be taken down and moved around a lot like the portable one that I just told you about that Yardmaster 2. So this one, I would say I'd recommend having two people to set it up. I think it took a couple hours. This was my first time putting together a screen like that. And my wife and I did that and you know, you know, there's some springs you basically pull them 
and you uh, pull the screen taut and fix it to the frame. And then at the end, you kind of have like the velvet frame then that you screw on and everything. So it definitely was a little bit of work. It wasn't as quick as that portable screen. That one you can set up in literally, I'd say five minutes if you got real good at it. This one, it takes a little bit more setup on the front end. But then, like I said, it's a fixed frame screen and you basically either mount it to the wall. You know, you could theoretically not mount it. And if you wanted to, you could maybe move it around a little bit. But that fixed frame screen is definitely meant for a more permanent setup. So so that is something you want to put up on a wall, put it up in your living room and mount it, in your home theater, mount it, you know, your basement, whatever area you're going to be using. And that's going to look really good. It does look very high quality. It just makes the room look even better. It's cool. It's a, it's a statement piece and it looks pretty neat. So guys, the picture quality is great. It's native 1080p. You get good colors and everything. So it's a thousand ANSI lumens, but again, it's going to look definitely the most crisp and the best at nighttime. Uh, if you need to use it though in a room where you've got a little bit of light, you know, or you can control the light, like I have blinds in here, if you're able to somewhat control the light, you're still going to get a pretty good picture out of it. It does have a vertical keystone correction on there also, and you'll be able to do that through the remote. It also does have kind of like a lens shift option almost on there, and that's within the settings menu as well. There's a horizontal shift and a vertical shift. So you can't do anything crazy with it, but for fine tuning your picture in, that's also a big help. For somebody who's used a lot of budget end projectors now, I've come to realize that the setup is sometimes a pain, especially with manual keystone. So this is nice, it's a DLP projector. You've got the electronic keystone correction. And then that lens shift is something where instead of having to really play around with the manual and physical controls and trying to tilt and turn the projector a little bit, that's something where that'll allow you to fine tune your picture in and it's gonna make it look good and make it flush on the screen where you don't have to spend, you know, maybe a half hour physically trying to move the projector around and mess with the tripod and all kinds of stuff like that. The last thing I think I wanna touch on is there's a 17 millisecond input lag. So you can actually use this for gaming and it's gonna be a very serviceable projector for that. So that's something that compared to other models that I've reviewed and like BenQ and some of the gaming projectors like that, that's pretty impressive as well. This projector has, you know, good picture, it's very portable. You can use it for movie nights, indoors, outdoors. You can actually use it for gaming. So uh, that's the one thing that really stands out to me with this projector is really just the versatility. I just can't believe you can use it indoors, outdoors, camping, you know, it has some water resistance to it. So it's kind of like splash proof. It's pretty neat. There's a lot of different settings you can use this in. And I think that's one of the best attributes of this projector. So guys, like I mentioned, they do have this for sale on amazon.com and it's also on eliteprojector.com. You can go there to find out more info on that. Also check down there in the description. Like I said, I'm gonna have some links down there. I'll have some of the info and some of those direct links to Elite Projector where they kind of give you specs and the comparison table and that kind of stuff. That Amazon link is an affiliate link, so that does help me out if you purchase through there. So if you did find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it. Also make sure to hit that like button. Thanks again to Elite Projector for sending out this bundle to me and allow me to bring that to you guys. On my channel here, Canada Tech TV, I review projectors and do other projector tips and tricks videos and stuff like that. So if you like this kind of content, definitely hit that subscribe button down there below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.